Hello, Facebook friends and family. Sorry for the I just rolled out of bed look because I just rolled out of bed. Well, not just. I've actually been up for a couple of hours, took care of my family today, prepped food for them, uh, got breakfast made, got my son off to school, and I can tell you that uh, when they were little, I used to do that all the time but now they actually eat my food. <laughs> so with food prepping, it really made it super simple. All I had to do was just put it together and um, get them out the door and that feels really good. I did the same for myself today and I've been doing so all week. I made um, fresh food all week. It was fantastic. I wanted to share with you a little bit about self-talk because while I've been going through this challenge this week, despite having everything ready, doing all the right things and learning along the way and having to tweak some of that stuff and food combinations, um, I have been beating myself up a little bit and I have wonderful coaches with this Rebel Run Challenge who've been pointing out that I need to stop beating myself up and just make the change and make the tweak and uh, it feels really good. So I just wanted to uh, recommend a book to you if you haven't read it yet uh, called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. It's a really good book to identify how, what we say to ourselves and how we self-sabotage. Um, there are many other books. So there's a great book by Tom Corley um, about habits and how hard they are to break. Um, so give yourself an opportunity to change if that's what you wanna do. If any of you want some more information about what I'm doing, just private message me and I will I will get back to you and give you some links to follow and some referrals, especially from Dory's um, food prep. I talked to one of our high school classmates uh, who left her professional job years and years ago as a pharmacist because she saw that um, most of the people that were coming through her clinic were there for preventable diseases and we're just trying to treat it with medication and I don't ever ever want to be that person and if you are one right now you can change. She decided to leave her profession full time so that she could prepare real whole foods for her family and make sure they had what they needed and she does practice her uh, profession part time but she left her business because she just couldn't in good conscious, conscience um, continue to feed people medications that were destroying and toxifying and killing them. So uh, I'm encouraging all of you to get real food in your body in the right combinations so that you can feel healthy again. Um, it's not easy. It's not just a one pill. It's not a, a sachet of this or a sachet of that, although I have some great resources and products that um, can put real food in your body every day uh, when you are on the run, um, but it's still important to put the right foods in your body. So um, just sharing this with you. Love you guys. Have a great day.